The Droughtlander is almost over. And don't worry, I'm going to be recapping the episodes like usual, but this is just a little preview of what we know and what I can share. It's like an appetizer without calories, guilt-free. Season 5 still takes place in America, and it does start happily. And in many ways, the first few episodes I've seen have just felt like a traditional Outlander kind of series. It's familiar, like a warm hug. Jamie and Claire love each other, and Brianna and Roger officially tie the knot. If I could give this season a theme, it would be that romantic relationships are okay, but the parent-child relationships are the ones that seem to have some angst, whether they be through a blood connection or through choice. By the time a show gets to the fifth season, it feels like they often want to jump the shark to try to keep fans interested. And what I can say about Outlander Season 5 is that they haven't done that yet. Maybe in future episodes they do, but on the whole, it feels pretty normal, which is good. That's why people are fans of the books and the show. There isn't anything completely earth-shattering, but what happens this season is what you expect, and there's comfort in that. There are also some storylines in this show that are not in the book, but that's okay. They kind of got us started with it last season with Murtaugh not being dead and him starting an affair with Jocasta. I thought this was a great addition to the storyline, and I was glad that it picks back up in Season 5. And the cliffhanger from Season 4 about Jamie and Murtaugh is still very much in play when Season 5 begins. I hope my goddaughter is never given the task of chasing me around and trying to kill me. One of the wonderful things about Outlander is that it keeps the romantic relationships between older people as a living thing throughout the books and the show. Jamie and Claire aren't bystanders, they're still the main event. It's why I suspect that women of all ages love the books, because Jamie and Claire grow in age just as they do. Do grandparents have sex? Their kids might not want to think about it, but an outlander, Diana Gabaldon, not only thinks about it, she writes about it. Jamie and Claire are as important to the story in their 50s as they were in their 20s, and just as alive and in love as they were. And that's where this season finds its strength, by showing how people continue to evolve and grow and try to change the world. A story doesn't end it happily ever after because that's just the beginning. And with Outlander, there's lots to go.